We are here and we have one question to ask. Which health food alternative tastes the most and the least like the unhealthy version that they're trying to rip off of? Okay, that is the question. I guess I should tell you where we're here at. We are at Whole Foods and we have already picked up some things that got to try the uh, rip off of um, goldfish. goldfish. And then we also have some Rice Krispie treats. Okay, they're organic, so we're getting some more stuff. All right, we found some fruit roll-ups. I actually don't even know what fruit roll-ups taste like, so that'll be interesting. I'm actually extremely excited about this one. Justin's Peanut Butter Cups. This means I'm gonna get to taste this and a Reese's. Reese's? Mm -hmm. Reese's. 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 Reese's Cup. Where, do, where are the plantain chips? All done at Whole Foods, and boy, did that break the bank. Now we're gonna go and get some of the unhealthy versions of these snacks, which will be painful in a different kind of way. More of a physical kind of pain for me, not monetarily. Let's go. Jordan's back at home setting up, so I've been sent to go get the junk food, for the junk food portion of this experiment. And I really hope that they have a lot of like self-serve fun sizes of this stuff, because I really do not want a whole bunch of junk food in my house. Jordan doesn't want the junk food because he won't eat it. And I don't want the junk food in the house because I will eat it. All right, guys, we are back at home and we have the most incredible food taste testing video you have ever seen on this website. Look, I've already said this 50 times, I'm gonna say it again. We have the unhealthy versions of all the foods you like to eat out there, okay? Not scientifically proven, but you know, Pop-Tarts probably not the best thing to eat in the morning versus the uh, healthier alternative, which are these organic toaster pastries or something. Now these may or may not be better, and I'll tell you what, they sure are a lot more expensive. This, $37.53 for all of this. Over here, you can get this for a minimal 20 bucks and 65 cents, okay? So if you don't care about your health, you're gonna save a lot of money for your hospital bills later on, so it, it works out either way. <laughs> So we are going to go down the line and see if these healthier alternatives miss the mark or make the mark when it comes to trying to duplicate or simulate their evil twins. All right, let us get started. And as usual, to uh, cleanse the palate between taste testings, I have my favorite organic energy drink for purpose energy. A true healthy alternative to all those other energy drinks. We're gonna start our day with the most healthy option possible. Pop-Tarts. And we're going to compare it to the to uh, the organic frosted toasted pastries cherry pomegranate organic. <laughs> so we're going to try the Pop-Tarts originals first. Haven't had one of these in years. It's actually probably nasty if you just straight up eat this thing uh, without warming it up. But Would you like me to warm it for you? Not particularly. It's time to open up the Toaster Pastries Organic. Look, I don't know how they how Pop Tarts don't have like a, a patent on this. Look at this ripoff. I mean, come on, it literally looks identical. All right, so we'll taste this and see how it goes. Hmm. This one actually looks a little fatter, so let's try it out. This tastes like more of what I had when I was growing up. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer this one better because that's what it, a Pop Tart tastes like to me. It's very good though. It does taste healthier. It doesn't taste like that raw sugar that's gonna kill you. It tastes like other kind of sugar that's gonna kill you. <laughs> I would say that this is that this is a they hit the mark pretty well. Next up, we have the Kroger brand pizzas and the uh, vegan pizza with your wait for it, vegan cheese. Mozzarella cheese. I don't know what that means. It doesn't say what it is, but it just says it's vegan. So it actually, it looks like worms. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is what you would have for lunch. So let's go ahead. We're trying to do this in order of meals. It looks like a bagel bite. How much was that? One buck? That was $1. Shoot, that's actually pretty good, man. Now, let me tell you something. It tastes, this is gonna be hard to describe. It tastes literally nothing like this. A absolutely nothing like it, but it's really good. It's amazing, actually. This tastes like high quality. How much was this one? $4. Four bucks. Look, they made it. 
they made it and then they added to it. That's how good this one is. Wow. So it's worth Vegan that, mozzarella it's cheese worms. Yes. Next up, we have a true classic, Lay's wavy potato chips. And then the only other alternative we could find are these plantain uh, chips and they are wavy. Nothing else at Whole Foods was wavy except for this. So that's what we got. Let's just go ahead and try this. I actually hate these. These make, oh, I hate how they smell. I, it just hit me. I have always hated these as a child. I don't like that flavor. I've always preferred sun chips. Mm. All right, A plus on the bag. How much did these cost? Five dollars. Five bucks? How much was that? That's the family size. I think that was like two seventy nine. Um. You don't want this either? No. <laughs> I just don't like chips. I like Fritos. That's pretty much it. These taste nothing alike. Now, to be fair, I don't think these people were trying to completely copy wavy chips, but they—that—that's the look they were kind of going for. So I'm not gonna—I'm not gonna say that this is like bad. It's not my flavor. I'm not big into this kind of thing. Uh, what, what do you say? Did they make it or did they miss? It's close. It's a close one, so we'll say that they missed. I'll just, okay. Are these more chips? Doritos nacho cheese versus the kale chips nacho version. All right, let's try these out. Doritos, I actually kind of like these ones a lot. You can barely taste the chip. There's so much artificial stuff. Very nacho-y, very Dorito-y. All right, now the kale chips. Let's test this thing out. Look, it's good. Not very cheddar-y, not very cheesy, but what do you expect when it's more like natural stuff unless you just put a ton of cheese on it? Um, I would say that they missed the mark on the like kind of the Dorito-y thing going on here, but they made it because it seems like they're doing the best they can with what they have. I mean, you can't do too much with kale and like little stuff on it, all right? But it's pretty good. Missed and made. What's next, goldfish? All right, bring it here, bring it here, let's do this. All right, classic. Absolutely loved these growing up. Loved these growing up, but I've never had them side by side. Let's see how they actually compare. Let's check this out, let's see how it tastes. Incredible. Now, I'm interested to see exactly how organic cheddar bunnies compare. <laughs> goldfish have a very distinct flavor, so let's see. Made it extremely similar, but they did it messed with the ingredients just enough so that they wouldn't get sued, but they could have hit the mark exactly. So your choices here are, do you want to eat a fish or money or both? Both. Guys, before we move on, let me tell you a little about the full purpose energy. <laughs> Check out this dope mini fridge. Wish you could buy this, but you can't. But what you can buy is one of their incredible drinks. Let me tell you about it. If you're tired of those other energy drinks that are, you know, probably doing some serious permanent damage, I would check out Four Purpose Energy. Oh, it's so heavy. My friends make it, and it's really cool how they set it up. Each can you buy donates 10 cents to help build a school for kids who really need it. It is a healthy alternative that you can be proud of. If you want to try it out, go to fourpurposeenergy.com, and if you get the 24 pack, use the coupon code Jordan to get 5% off. You can also get an additional. 5% off by selecting the subscribe and save feature at checkout. Basically, if you subscribe, you're going to save 5% more and they're going to ship a 24 pack to your door every single month. Super convenient. Or if you just want to try out for purpose energy, you don't want to commit with the 24 pack, try out the six pack. This packaging is incredible. But trust me, you're going to want more. This is just going to get you started. Go to forpurposeenergy.com and uh, support my friends. Thank you. All right, now that you've had your breakfast, your lunch and your afternoon snacks. Now we're hitting up with some more snacks because what are you gonna do? We have the organic blueberry fruit strips and we have the classic fruit roll-ups. Let's, let's try and find a strawberry one here. All right guys, so let's, let's, let's zoom up on this, okay? Let's check this out. This is what they want you to think strawberries look like. This is what a real strawberry looks like, okay? Don't believe the lies. Why is it wrapped up? I don't understand. Because it's fun. Okay, I have never done this in my life. Why is it like this? It's a fruit roll-up. What's the point? And then you rip it off and then you just eat it? That doesn't taste like a strawberry. I hope that they missed it on this one, okay? Because that does not taste good. That tastes like the most artificial stuff that you could possibly think of. Now let's try the real deal. Literally, ingredients here, organic apples juice. <laughs> That's literally what the first ingredient is. I mean, 
It doesn't taste like a strawberry either. Um, look, they both missed, okay? They both do not taste like strawberries. I mean, this is good. I like this. <sighs> Gotta get another one. Okay, this, this is the one I was most excited about. We have the Annie's. <laughs> now, this wasn't open before. <laughs> Sarah was hungry in the car on the way home and she snuck some, I guess. And we have the regular Rice Krispie Treats. These things have saved my life on countless bike rides. When you're going 78 miles out there on the road, you need one of these. Gas stations have them. These ones, you're making so much, what are you doing? <laughs> Now, I'm excited because the, the, the Annie's organic kind has quinoa in it. This does not have quinoa in it. It has toasted rice cereal, sugar, salt, malt flavor. Now, we'll try. The Rice Krispie original, it says, the original snack bars. That's probably, they probably shouldn't say that. I think original is the flavor. <laughs> it's a little chewier. Why do I always eat on the right side of the bar? <laughs> they made it. They made it. Check mark. This tastes literally identical to this. Only difference? This is chewier. It's a little more dense than this, but like, it tastes slightly different, less, a little less sugary. but I, I'd say they made it. Next up, I'm actually really, really excited about this. We have grandma's chocolate chip cookies, and you're probably thinking, wow, that's the healthy version, but no, grandma never really cooked healthy stuff, okay? This apparently is supposed to be like a complete meal. It's non-GMO, non-soy. Non dairy no eggs, vegan, kosher, fresh baked, high fr no high fructose corn syrup, no cholesterol, no trans fat, no artificial sweeteners, no, I can keep going on. For something so complete, it sure is missing a lot of stuff. 16 grams of protein, it truly is a complete meal. Let's open up grandma's classic cookie. We all love grandma's cookies, right? Holy, this thing is huge. If you make anything this big, it would be 16 grams of protein. <laughs> Healthy cookies have a certain flavor to them. I can't pinpoint what that flavor is, but it makes them not really taste like a chocolate chip cookie. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's good, but it has a little too much of that flavor. Personally, I like it better than this one because I'm used to eating stuff like this, but I would say that they missed the mark a little Sadly. And now one I'm truly excited about, the Peanut Butter Twins, Reese's and Justin. Mm -hmm. One thing about Reese's, I always thought they need to be a little crunchier on the outside. They're too, like, soft. I mean, it's amazing though. Now, let's try Justin's. I've never had this before. Let's see how they're comparable in size. Slightly bigger. The older brother. I'd say they made it. Reese's has a very specific flavor. I think they capitalized that and went up a notch. They have a little crunchiness to it. So I love it. So in this case, healthy option, definitely. You know what guys, the healthy versions of these, some of them pulled through, some of them didn't, but you know what always pulls through? Four Purpose Energy. Raspberry Pomegranate does not lie. Go support my friends, fourpurposeenergy.com. Try it out. I'll see you next week. Peace out.